What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So we're gonna get right back into it, right where we left off. This pipe will take us directly to the well-lit room. Okay, I need to call my friends, tell them where we're going. Hello? Ow! Barry, we're headed to the dam in one of the pipes. Meet us there. Okay, I'll tell Sarah. It's Sarah now? Gotta go see if they're okay. They're probably dead. You must reach the well-lit room. This is no time to be a selfish idiot. That's my best friend! Well, be a fool. I'll use the pipe. I'll meet you at the dam if you make it. Dope. Come on, you idiot. At least I didn't have to worry about her. She knew how to stay safe. Alan, you freaking idiot. Why the hell would you do this? Sarah was almost starting to relax. Maybe they could turn this into a win yet. Suddenly, there was a piercing sound like a table saw gone wild, as a hundred birds made out of shadows swarmed into the rotor. The chopper bucked wildly and the board lit up, telling her what she already knew. They were going down. Barry Wheeler screamed next to her. Oh, damn it. I hope they're okay. Come on, Alan. Okay, there we go. Swear, Barry, you better not be dead. Barry! Sheriff Breaker! Sarah! Damn, there ain't nobody here. looked bad, but as far as I could tell, the wreck was empty. Just good. Sarah Barry. The well lit room. Wait, so they should be able to see those signs now. Right? Barry! Barry! Hang in there, I'm coming! You got the sheriff. You know when to make an entrance, Wake. We were ready to make like Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. I have a different ending in mind. Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. I knew you'd be all right. How's that? The flaming eye of Mordor. Ah, laugh it up, funny man. Didn't we have somewhere to go? Weaver will meet us at the dam. Fucking breathing is so, oh, it's just so unnerving. I hate it. Oh, I guess this is the right way.
this fucking breathing. Oh, let's go, boys. Let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> okay. Oh, 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 sweet pool of light. Uh, oh, should I should have kept that gym membership. You see those lights? That's the elevator we need to take. We got this. I thought I saw something. Was that it? Nothing Are we safe goes like that? It's impossible. That was wow. I think we're okay. Yeah, I wasn't about to deal with those guys. I hate those things. Hey, ow, I got a bad feeling. Hey, Let's shut keep up. Our eyes open. Shut up, Barry. Keep your bad feelings to yourself, damn it. Oh. We're taking our filth with the darkness. Oh, geez. Here we go again. Wake, call the elevator. I'm keeping watch. I think I hear something moving around. Okay. Okay. Well, considering it's giving me a flare, I'm gonna go ahead and the flare gun out. Heads up! Here they come. Yeah, it's a good thing I decided oh to no. do that. Get him, Sheriff. It's almost here, Wade. Kick his ass. Just hold on. I heard her reloading. Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, what the hell? I thought I heard one to my left. Ow, hit the button. I'm hitting the button, Barry. Shut up. Oh, dude, I turn around. I didn't see Barry. I I thought he was still out there. I got scared for a second. We're almost there. There's an entrance into the dam at the top. What's the plan, Wake? Well, Weaver's crazy, but she's got something Zane left behind. Something to fix this. Gee, could you be a little more vague? Thomas Zane? Seriously? Might as well be Paul Bunyan or Bigfoot. Yeah, well, he was real. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, he was real, okay? He was real. Let's be careful, okay? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I did I knew I, I saw this. something. Yoink. You're telling me oh, Okay, never mind I guess there was no way to get to the stairs. I was like, are you telling me we could have just taken the stairs? over there that opens the door. I think something's broken. Hold the button down so we can get in. Are you going to hold the door open for me? Oh, you're a dick. How do I make it up there? Oh. You gotta be kidding me. Apparently that's how I make it through. 
Okay, cool. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, come on. Okay. Down, boy. <laughs> nice. That was a good one, Alan. That was a good one. Okay. Oh, man. Fuck this. I, I hate this. I hate this so much. I don't I don't like horror games, but I'm just kind of like, uh, oh, no. it's kind of why I keep getting quiet. Holy shit! Try not to waste the flare. All right, let's go. Oh, I'm trying not to waste the flare gun round, I should say. The hand flares, I don't mind. Spotlight? This can be a hobby or a job. I was ridiculously outnumbered. The searchlight could even the odds. Oh, okay. I was like, oh, what the hell? I couldn't see no one else. That, that is the guy. Jesus Christ. Run. Run, run, run. Run now. Um, um, okay. Oh, jeez. Come on, Alan. Come on, Alan. I need you to get over your fatigue, buddy. I need you to sprint. Kindly sprint, please and thank you, Alan. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. Alan, get in the freaking building. Well, I didn't make that jump. Jeez. Alan. Oh, Jesus Christ, Alan. Get in there, Barry. What are you doing? Well, hello, Cynthia. Long time no see. You made it. Well done. I'm glad I was wrong. But it was 
was a foolish chance to take. Don't worry about the noise. We're safe here. I have looked after the well-lit room for many, many years now. There's no shadow in the well-lit room. The power is fail-safe, and all the bombs are numbered and changed regularly based on their make and model. Right. Well, even with the make and model, what if there was a manufacturer defect? Hmm. Anyways. There's an old army base at Raid Cove Point, north of here. It was active during the Second World War. They operated here back then. They must have built this. Yes, they did. It's my place now. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, yeah, I guess it is kind of accurate to say that it's hers now. Do I gotta... Oh, okay. I gotta examine it. Take it. And I won't need to worry about the room anymore. Because 6 and 33 and 118 need changing soon. And I don't want to climb up the ladder to change them. Because it's very late. And I'm tired. And if you take it, I won't have to do that anymore. The page was autobiographical. A memory from my childhood. But I didn't write this. It was a page written by Thomas Zane. None of them were supposed to exist anymore. Alan, seven years old, would fight sleep to the bitter end. When he did sleep, he soon woke up, screaming, the nightmares fresh in his mind. One evening, his mother, sitting by his bed, offered him an old light switch. She called it the clicker, and flicking the switch would turn on a magical light that would drive the beast away. To imbue the talisman with all possible power, she added that it had been given to her by Alan's father. Alan never knew him, and anything of his took on mythical proportions in his mind. With the clicker firmly in his hand, Alan finally slept like a baby. Now, almost 30 years later, Alan thought of this. As he stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, the clicker in his hand, he took a deep breath and jumped. My mind swirled. I'd given the clicker to Alice, yet it was here. Zane had written it into existence, in a story I had written. I can get to her now. I can finish this. kind of written in author inception bullshit is that? That's awesome. All right, boys, I mean, that's where I'm going to go ahead and end it for tonight. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell button. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Bye.